as you get into formal attire, you walk down this servant's hallway and see that it kind of opens into a theater. There's a all balconies on the left and the right, and you're up pretty high up on it. Um, the other side, you can kind of see uh, where the gala doors are on the left and the right, but everybody's in their seats and the Perez and Goldwing, other than uh, a few people that you can see pacing in the aisles. And as soon as you notice them, you can kind of see the silhouette of a pair of bunny ears amongst one of them. And you both give me stealth checks. Oh, no. No! <laughs> All right. Are you me? Um, Wait, okay. You said it was the number on the left. This is why I'm confused. Why? What's uh, happening? It's you take the of lower. Your point of, yeah, because to your point of exhaustion, now we look at both and see which one's lower because you have oh, disadvantage on oh, skill that's checks. That's so frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't roll that great either, though. Okay, but I would have rather rolled like two kind of shitty rolls than like yeah. one good and one. I know. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. So you have this brief moment where you're glancing around, trying to find a place to go and duck out of sight. Um, amongst these narrow rows between these rows of seats. Uh, you notice a couple of empty seats along one path, and you uh, start to make a move there, but one of the and they one of the what sorry see one of the attendants walk up towards you and you can see down further to the left uh, still kind of facing or slowly up along the aisles um, is uh, that bunny eared girl and you can see a number of other attendees. You're not certain if there, any of them are working with her. None of them seem to have be stopping her from walking up the aisles right now. Um, and one of them has approached you. And we go, Lost your feet, have you? Oh my. You remember what row you were in? And then you can see they're kind of like a kindly old man with a little kind of soft little cap on top of their head and their little formal attire. Hands in their pocket as they look at you. Hands in the pocket? Uh, does it look like he's hiding a weapon? <laughs> like, is he about to stab us? Yeah, I don't trust it. I don't know. He's got, what like, a, he's got like a little vest on and like almost like a uh, little cap on his head that matches like the vest and his little velvet attire and he's just got his hands in his little vest uh, you maybe be able to spit like a small razor blade there but not even a knife okay so, like, so, no sir we we were just leaving give me a precision check <laughs> show wasn't really for us. Guidance? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It'll help. No. Nope. You can see the girl walking up in the distance. 20 years kind of look in your direction. It's dark in here. You doubt that she can fully see who you are. But she's definitely noticed you talking to this Thank you. Is there any empty seats? You did notice a couple to the left, and uh, like three of them off to the left there, and then another two to the right. 
Okay. Uh, Eli I'll grab Eliza's hand and say, come on, dear, we'll give it, we'll give the show one more try. And then I just kind of like take her and sit her down and like, just kind of head down. All right. She goes. And just kind of sit and watch the show. All right. Give me a uh, deception. Oh my God. Would I? I uh, to, this is just for that on this one. Thank God. Um, Would I be uh, the human influence thing? Can I just take that D four, or does she have to? It does work. She can apply it to you as well. Okay. Um, off touch. So yes. Yeah. As you take her hand, roll it. All right, man. These rolls. I will walk you there. And he takes you off to the side and leads you towards the row with the two seats that you'd looked over to. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. It has quite an ending worth staying around for. In terms mm -hmm. of was that a uh, thinly veiled threat? was <laughs> i don't even need to check <laughs> like, yeah that was oh, ominous we gotta this out. okay well just stop rolling like <laughs> <don't feel> really <laughs> yeah. he's probably a really old man and though your heartbeat is racing you can see her coming towards uh like your direction as he kind of walked you over uh, you saw as uh, he kind of looks off in another direction and begins pacing up the aisle again, just slowly looking, uh, seemingly having written it off. Just okay. being just two more people being brought back to their seats. You see another attendee walk up and on one of the other aisles and help guide another person back to their seats. It's really dark in here. You can't see anything other than that stage, really. Um, and the only reason you can even notice her is because her bunny ears kind of cut mm -hmm. a silhouette with the light that comes off the stage. Because of like the angle of this, you're really obscured in darkness right now and several rows off from where she's walking up. Yeah, uh, and did, with that insight check. Unless you get up and any off of his stuff, he's probably just another old person that yeah. attends this. He's a Walmart and reader. Some of their yes, exactly. <laughs> and the show, uh, it does appear to be somewhat of like uh, a traditional of alien tragedy. Um, um, pretty well performed. So actually, you kind of take your seats, and uh, from what you can tell, uh, it's probably uh, into its last act, and has like at least another half hour probably before that thing's going to be done. Uh, she's pacing up and down those aisles, but. Uh, it doesn't really look, it looks like she's just waiting to see who's going to leave, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I hold Eliza's hand and just kind of like, you know, very just like calm, you know, like, let's just stay calm, lay low, act like we paid to be here. Just kind of like through the hand grab. <sighs> Eliza like understands through the grab, but it's also yeah. <laughs> She's like I don't know because, I mean, I guess she could kind of whisper to you maybe. Yeah, I'm other people whispering kind of commentary on the show. Okay. Conversations. She's just like I don't think she's gonna leave. We'll just walk out like we paid to be here. With everyone else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get lost in the crowd. 
What if it doesn't work? Well, I'd rather give it some time. Maybe it will. Better to have it. I'm I'm whispering, but I just don't want to whisper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you know, give it some time. We'll just see what happens. It's better to try something and have it fail than not have tried. Yeah, okay, but I guess you're right. And so, yeah, we just wait for the show and just, you know, uh, tr just try to look like we're people watching the show. Well, hold on. I don't know how long, like, I'm in disguise right now, right? But I only have, like, an hour. So... Yeah. Has it been a half hour for this whole chase thing to happen? It has been half an hour. Yeah. How much is left of this movie? Well, about, about half, half an hour. hour. You don't know. So, Baba kind of will whisper, just change back into yourself. She doesn't know what you look like. I'll change very subtly. <laughs> uh, and we'll walk out as different people. Okay. I mean, I just, I still worry that maybe who I am, that old lady, I mean, she wasn't real, so I don't know who she was with who they were. People aren't wearing masks in here, right? It's just regular people. Chance? Just regular people. Yeah. Does Eliza have like a hood that she can use to just kind of like hide or like, you know, rearrange her clothes so that she looks... Because she's wearing different clothes now, so... And yeah, um, possibly. I don't really have like a hood on you at the moment, but um, you have a a coat. You um, put the collar up on, maybe. Uh, for all you know, that you know, hoods and means of obscuring what you look like are the honestly gonna just draw more attention to yourself yeah yeah and often you just walking out is the easier function yeah so that's that's what we'll do yep does and like obviously keeping an eye like a very subtle eye on her she's Made it up to the other row. Um, and as you kind of see her walking up on it, you're being like a, even more of a closer track on her. The show on stage seems to have something to do with some uh, angel that's lost its wings or something. Uh, it's all being sung in uh, uh, um, really, really, really old-fashioned Elvish, um, other than off alien Elvish. And so it's, oh, you can understand what it's saying and stuff, but it's sometimes it's a little poetic sounding. Yeah, it's stuffy sounding. Um, and really powerfully sung and performed at the moment. And the lighting, the stage production is all really top notch. Um, the, as you see her kind of passing up in the other row, uh, you feel as something walking through the low feet in between everybody on your row. You see a pair of cat eyes kind of blinking, sort of only passing through and past everybody. It's a little bit closer towards y'all. I don't acknowledge it. 
Eliza doesn't either. Give me deception. Sixty-nine. Nice. nice. Not in this particular scenario. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do that. To okay. <laughs> You kind of tense a little as you feel it get close to you, and it stops as it passes by. It's let its tail kind of flicking around your right leg for a moment. You see as it kind of pops up onto the back of the seat in front of you, one of the unoccupied ones in the row in front of you, and it blinks its eyes. Uh, it's a little bit closer to it. And ugh, I, ugh, get this cat away from me. Deception. Oh. A uh, deception? Yeah. A deception. Oh, and then, Good. yeah, I'm adding the... Sorry. Yeah. And I just kind of shoo it away like an entitled noble person. Yep. It turns and looks at you for a moment, and then leaps down off onto the uh, uh, seat in front of you. And then you see its tail kind of like dip up and disappear. And like somebody on the other side lifts its leg up really quickly. Um, and like you see a couple of heads turn and look to follow it and uh, get up and go back to looking to the show. As your eyes kind of trail towards it, you look back over uh, to see uh, the funny ear still pacing up the other row, but getting ready to get closer to your own. She's going to be probably walking by your row here in like a couple of minutes before the end of the show. Um, you can see a couple of, like, since like the clear finale is getting prepared, um, you get a key eye for this theater stuff with that. And you can see some of the stage hands that had snuck by in like their dark outfits to place some of the tricks of the trade up around the stage. And they're now putting back through um, a. Uh, stage hand exit on the right hand side. And it kind of opens a little brief little bit of dim light coming from the other side, um, uh, tinted to this light blue, and then it closes. Uh, and you see her still getting up closer to you. Again, just keep watching the show. Yep. No notice. She walks right on by. Stops in the row in front of you and kind of puts her head. Empty seats. Been looking for empty seats. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon, pardon. A row. And you see that tail of the cat in the empty seat in front of you. Kind of pop up and sit on, curl up on the back of that same seat. And she sits in the seat right in front of you. Facing the stage, you see as the <laughs> sparkles and lights light up around the edge of the stage, like this bright flames of fire, <laughs> and you can see the uh, woman on stage gripping these kind of fake torn wings in her hands. Uh, and she's letting out the final powerful operatic note 
and uh, the flames kind of uh, die down, and the note stage goes dark. The whole crowd stands up, and there's applause and applause, and she. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Uh, does it look like people are starting to get ready to go? Uh, so they're all up in a yeah. really loud applause. You know that after mm -hmm. this, people usually do gather their things and yeah. start heading out and stuff. So yeah, just applaud and then start, you know, gathering my things and start getting ready to go kind of when everyone else is. Kind of casually, like, so yeah. Bad. Give me deception. Nineteen. <laughs> uh, Twenty. Good stuff. All right. Do this good applause. You even throw in like comment that like uh that that like helps harken back to like uh, another play that influenced by this one and uh in a different voice uh, too yes exactly and you pull it off really well and uh uh everybody kind of begins gathering their stuff and you can see uh the cat kind of curl up onto her shoulder she kind of just sits there like still and get up, everybody else starts moving. You guys are moving with the group. She's still sitting there in that seat. Does she... What the... Can I get, like, a general insight check on that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, roll me uh, intelligence. Uh, and add your... To modify. I'll just do a saving throw then. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, that's probably an illusion. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Look around throughout the crowd and stuff. Uh. You get the distinct feeling that you know maybe they're doing the same thing you're doing, mingling through this crowd, and you kind of just continue moving. Um, pray that any break and moment out of this, as the crowd moves out, is going to have you had by any person standing around you right now. And uh, you filter out uh, into the streets, uh, open bridges, midday, Bright sun of mm -hmm. twelve thirty now, and not until a couple of blocks away, hard to feel all safe. Yeah, and I tell you, I take like a long circuitous route, and just kind of make uh, sure. What was what was that? Sorry, and that's where we'll pick up next. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm excited for the Eliza and Babette full conversation there. I know, right? That was cool though. That was really Yeah. Cool. Fuck this cat lady though. Yeah.